Today, James in Dambacho, someone drama Mokjoma. 10 to 11 of Mokjoma. So, this government is killing small scale and medium scale and indigenous Zambians. They're killing them from the businesses. You can't create jobs if you don't support small scale and medium scale enterprises. By fighting James Ndambo, by fighting Mikaride, by fighting 5FM, by fighting Phoenix, by fighting Hot FM, by fighting all these small scale businesses, by refusing to pay them the money that you owe them, and by cancelling their contracts. I saw 197 contracts have been cancelled under the Ministry of Law, Government and Housing. All because people are suspecting, oh, I'm not a PF. See, PF. The Mazambians who are doing jobs. And even PF deserve to do jobs in Zambia. Nishiba PF Sibantu. Nishibantu Jabiriba UPND. So all of us now have to be tending to praise singers for us to have access to business, for us to have access to jobs, for us to have access to contract contracts. All of us must tend to be UPND praise singers. This is what they have done. And I, and, I, and I saw the president and I, I see it, comrade. I wonder what is going on in this president. He addresses people and says, on the top here, everything is okay. But at the bottom, things are not working well. Because these civil servants are sabotaging what government is doing. I said, this president doesn't understand his role as head of state, as commander in chief. And as leader of government, the job of a president is to provide policy direction. The job of a president is to appoint competent people to run the government ministries and departments. The job of the president is to make sure that he has got a team of men and women capable of providing advice that is based on evidence, is based on research, and is based on facts. The job of the president is to supervise and to oversee everything that government is doing. When the government is not performing, it is the president who is not performing. You can't blame a cleaner for your failure to buy medicine. You can't claim that you have no medicines in hospitals because cleaners are supported in government. You can't claim that you have failed to provide fertilizer to farmers because the community development officers are refusing to give fertilizer. You can't. I ask myself, what policy direction has this president given to the civil servants? What policy direction? What policy is this government and this president running on the economy? There is no policy. This government has no economic policy. So when he's blaming the civil servants, blaming them for what? Civil servants are there as technocrats to implement government decisions. That's their job. Now, there are no decisions to implement. This economy is run by the IMF. So how does he expect a civil servant to implement an IMF economy? The IMF is the one which actually approves what budget lines must be taken to parliament. The IMF is the one which approves what expenditure this government must spend on. On what, what, what expenditure line, how much they should spend, and why they should spend that money on this. It is the IMF which is giving them those instructions. So this president is failing to accept responsibility for his incompetence and his failures. Comrade, I want to, to take away these civil servants. They keep on fighting. First of all, comrade, this president said he will not fire any civil servant on account that he is being accused of being patriotic fire. Today, senior police officers, 27 senior police officers have been fired in the name of uh, retirement in national interest. They have been fired in the name of being retired in national interest. Today, judges are being transferred in huge numbers without giving any explanation why they are being transferred in that manner. Today, people are losing jobs because they are deemed that they don't come from a certain region. Today, people are being replaced, people are being retired, people are being fired because they are deemed that they don't come from a certain region. These are the very things that this president condemned. But these are the things that he is doing today. 